is on, going on guys welcome back here with my pussy just getting some pussy right now um basically today in this video i was going to get into uh, a story about how i ended up being involved in someone's tires getting slashed and making someone eventually quit their job uh this is back when i was working at culver's uh, i was doing my thing um and then eventually this man got hired who uh had previously worked in the navy and in the Get all the way, cat. Um, he he worked in the Navy and in the Army, and uh, basically he was going around uh, being a huge prick. Um, he fucking almost made me clean the dumpster. Uh, that's a fucking fantastic story. I fucking we were looking at the um, the cameras because there's a camera that shows you the drive through so that you can answer the call once the person obviously goes through and uh, so that you're ready to take their order. Um, so we were looking at that and we saw Bob. Mopping the dumpster. No shit. He was mopping the fucking dumpster. It was probably one of the funniest things that I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, so yeah, basically where this starts is he was hired and he was basically uh, basically out to get me. Um, one day I went into work and he uh, tried, He said, you know, if, if you want to go home, you can go home. So fuck it. I clocked out. I went the fuck home. Um, and then basically we got into an argument. Um, later on, the, I think, the day after, uh, with the owner, and he was like, oh, I want you out of here. Uh, so basically, after that happened, everyone was fucking with me, so we had to get him the fuck out of there. Um, so now it initiated, uh, plan Bully Bob. Um, don't condone bullying, but you gotta do what you gotta do at the end of the day, um, to get these fuckers out of your workplace. Um, so yeah, we started being assholes to him. Uh, he started to get fed up with it and then eventually um, He got into an argument with the wrong person and that ended up being the title of this video uh, He ended up getting his tires slashed um, so the day went um, I was going about my day. I was about to go on break uh, So I could go on a little smoke break because uh, I was working a 12-hour day So I was gonna take a little two-hour break so that I could get a little smoke break um, And so we go to Alex's car and um, after he gets in an argument with this person, uh, we'll just use an initial uh, T. Um, so T and Alex um, are all, we're in his car and Alex has a fucking knife. And uh, obviously you can see where that goes. Eventually he gives the knife to T and uh, she goes and slashes the tires. And so we go to Alex's and if this isn't the biggest tale of karma ever, we go to, uh, no, we didn't go to Alex's. Went to T's to, uh, smoke because it was a little smoke spot. Uh, she didn't mind if we smoked in her house, um, because she was probably okay with that. So we went there to smoke. Um, you know, I'm rolling up my white gray brellos, my favorite brellos in the world. Um, we're about to go get fried. Uh, have a fun little time. And basically, um, on, as we were leaving, uh, as I'm smoking a blunt, Alex, um, as we're leaving the parking lot, the tire starts to feel flat yeah um so his tire went flat uh and i'm just sitting there smoking and i didn't really give a fuck i'm not a handyman i wouldn't know how to switch a tire um so they're going they're trying to fix the tire it's fucking like 12 in the afternoon it's hot as fuck outside and they're trying to fix this dude's tire so then we get back home later on that night uh around 11 um around 10 i think i went home and then I think Bob stayed and closed. And later on that night, he got into his car and obviously couldn't drive it due to it being a flat tire. And it was fucking raining. So I guess he was probably out there fixing his tire while he was raining. And where the story leads is he ends up quitting. The next day, I didn't see him after that. He told people that he wanted to punch me in the face and uh, stormed out and left. So that's basically how Bob ended up quitting. Um, so that's the story of just how to get a big asshole out of your, uh, your restaurant, uh, you know, it is what it is, uh, shit happened, but I just want to put this story out, out there, uh, so you guys could listen and, uh, tell me what you think, uh, you know, was, was I in the right, was I in the wrong, and basically, I need you guys to leave a comment, because after this weekend, I'm going to be working um, a festival up until Monday and uh, on Monday I'm going to be getting a tattoo 
uh, my second one this is my first one but this one time we're gonna get a smaller one I'm gonna get on my wrist I'm either gonna get uh, talk is cheap right here written in Drake's um, uh, if you're reading this it's too late font I'm gonna either get a moon or a pineapple bomb right here or a black widow uh, kind of like coming over my wrist um, so basically comment um, which one of those you think I should get uh, leave a like for the if you're reading this it's too late um, leave a dislike for the pineapple and uh, leave a comment for the spider um, and I think I'm gonna wait to get the moon um, I don't know if I already mentioned that but I'm basically probably gonna get this whole arm sleeved out um, I don't know about this one yet I might just get two sleeves I don't even know uh, time will tell but uh, if you made it this far leave a like Leave a dislike, subscribe, and hit that post notification, gang. Uh, you guys have a great one. Have a great weekend. Stay safe and enjoy uh, some more uh, fireworks and festivities as those continue on throughout the, uh, the rest of July. Because, you know, you, you, one day isn't really enough to celebrate this great country that we have. Uh, you know. Ah! Fuck. That Slenderman was right there. He's showing me some tattoos because he's going to end up getting his first tattoo. Uh, I'll let you guys know what he ends up getting, and I'll put some pictures on Monday's video. Um, so anyway, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, leave a dislike, subscribe, and as I always say, have a great day.